what updates is Smash Brothers Ultimate still getting, and of course we break down the ridiculous league. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your blocked content for today. And there are two things that I really want to talk about today in today's blocked content video, and that is, of course, first off, we have a ridiculous leak that we're going to be diving into. I think it's so much fun that this world is opening back up again to all the speculation. Of course, the last time that we've did you know anything like this similar was, of course, with Sora. Now, Sora is a character than actually leaked beforehand. Yes, it's one of those rare cases with Smash Brothers leaks that the character was actually already out there. People already said like there was this huge theory about Disney music and that of course ended up being correct because Simple and Clean, the orchestral version, was in the announcement trailer for Sora and that song isn't in the game. So they've had to have, you know, very special ways of contacting with Disney, with Square Enix, to essentially get that music in the game, which I think is very special. But today we're also going to dive into a lot of these thoughts about the next Smash game. And I know a lot of you guys must be rolling your eyes about the next Smash, and I'm pretty much the same way over here. I've been playing Smash Brothers Ultimate the past couple of days, and of course Sora is incredible, and the entirety of the game feels so completed, so fleshed out, so perfect, so it's strange to be talking about the next Smash game when we now can finally enjoy the completed work of Masahiro Sakurai. Now, I also wanted to dive into a little bit of why Smash Brothers Ultimate will keep going, right? Why, you know, it doesn't need any other characters to still feel like we're getting updates, to still feel like this game is going to be relevant. And of course, the Switch is going to keep going as well. And, well, Smash Brothers is always a big part of a console's life. So if you have any questions, feedback, suggestions for our next video, well, you can send them over to Block Content through an email. You can send us an email through blockcontentmail at gmail.com. Com, and I might actually answer all your questions here live on the show. So let's dive into this ridiculous leak. And I, you know, I'll tell you guys right now from the start, this is of course pure speculation. This is someone who probably has a very fun idea of what they would want to see in the next Smash game. I have a very different theory about what the next Smash game will be, and it won't look anything like we've seen so far. And I'll talk about that too at the end of this video. But right now, let's just break this ridiculous leak that some of you guys have sent my way, and let's break it down. Smash 6 leaks. Smash 6 has been developed in conjunction with the final Smash DLC. It's expected to release the same year as the new Nintendo console in a few years. However, all of the third-party cuts and stays have already been decided due to the convenience of having these deals ironed out in advance. First up, Cloud, Hero, Sephiroth, and Sora are all returning. So yes, Square Enix double dipping. Donald and Goofy are assist trophies and help Sora during his final smash. King Mickey is an echo fighter. Mega Man has been cut. We're getting Jill Valentine as a replacement. Leon is an assist trophy. Ryu and Ken are staying. Konami is completely cut, so we're not getting anything from Castlevania, no Simon, no Richter, and of course no Snake from Metal Gear. Joker and Bayonetta are cut, Sonic is staying, and Eggman is coming with him. So Joker, no longer, no longer a Bayonetta, but yes, we get Sonic and another Sonic character. Pac-Man and Kazuya are staying. We're getting Chosen Undead as another Bandai rep. Steve and Banjo are staying. Master Chief is in and is likely going to be the final reveal. Terry has been cut. Byleth and Corin are cut. Robin was originally going to be cut instead of Byleth, but was ultimately decided against since it'd be weird for Lucina and Krom to be in the game without Robin. Min Min is staying. Pyra and Mithra are staying. Piranha Plant and Rosalina are cut. Luigi is getting a rework and Waluigi is in. Toon Link is cut 
Young Link is getting a rework and can use the masks for certain attacks, such as transforming into his Goron form for a powerful smash attack or Deku form for up B. Ganondorf is also getting a complete rework. Skull Kid is in. Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and King K. Rule are all staying. No new reps though. Zero Suit Samus is cut. Samus and Ridley are staying. Dark Samus is still considered an Echo, but was given a few differing moves from Samus. Metroid is in. Don't ask how. A lot of the Nintendo sided editions and cuts have yet to be decided, yet I'll post when I know more. Well, of course, there's a lot here that I don't believe. I think almost all of this, I think, is definitely not the way that they're going to go about the next Smash game. It's either everyone is returning from Smash Ultimate and they're building upon that foundation, or they're doing something completely different and there won't be any third party stuff in there. It'll be back to its roots and it'll be a completely different experience, right? I don't think that there's some sort of middle ground where some characters will return, others will not. I think that that is just the strangest way to do a sequel. I think that, you know, if there's any danger of any character at all not coming through with a deal for the next Smash game, then just approach it in a very different way. Of course, the idea of Smash 6 is something that would definitely exist in some form or another for the next console, right? I mean, next to Sakurai, there has to be an executive saying, we need a Smash game every console because it's the big seller, right? Next to, of course, the big Zelda game or the big Mario game and the big Mario Kart game, it's the biggest seller, right? So I do think that there is going to be another Smash game, but the idea of, you know, seeing which characters of third parties are returning and are not returning, and definitely all these different cuts don't make any sense. The idea that Donald and Goofy are now okay, King Mickey would be an Echo Fighter but has a totally different body shape than Sora has, does not not make sense. Mega Man being cut, but then other Capcom characters being okay does not make any sense at all, especially since Mega Man of course now has been in two Smash games, doesn't make any sense. And of course Konami being completely gone is also quite strange seeing their relationship. Then Joker and Bayonetta not being there, even though Bayonetta was of course the big character that was the pole winner, so that doesn't make any sense in my book too. And Joker, you know, the relationship with Sakurai, even going to their offices and doing all those crossover videos, and then Sonic is staying with Eggman coming in? I wouldn't really know that. Of course, Chosen Undead really don't feel like that fits into Smash Brothers as of this point. And then Master Chief being in is the only thing that I feel like is realistic. I think if there is another Smash game, Master Chief has to be in that game because that's one of the big cards that they still have for third party characters that could really feel like they rival any of the reveals that we've gotten for Smash Ultimate, right? There are a couple of characters that can still shake up the universe and I think that that character is definitely one of them. So I'm really curious if you guys have any thoughts on, of course, this ridiculously fake leak. I really want to know because, of course, we break these down to break them down. I'd like to see where are the holes in this theory. Let me know in the comments down below what would you want to see in a Smash 6. And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, Mr. Zygarde64, saying, I had this idea for an imposter trailer where Ridley, Ganondorf, and Sephiroth have taken over a ship. Sephiroth notices a figure emerging in the vents and running to another room. He decides to hunt them down for only his terrified screams to get Ridley and Ganondorf's attention. They find Sephiroth's lifeless body and his killer, the Imposter. Ganondorf attempts to rush the Imposter before getting impaled. Q gameplay. Ridley is then seen trying to crawl from the imposter who responds by pulling out a gun. It then cuts to Samus and Cloud riding the former ship as they find the bodies of Ganondorf, Ridley, and Sephiroth have all been ejected. The two are shocked at the sight, and the trailer ends. Well, Mr. Zygarde64, I think it's so much fun to think about the idea of those characters being in Smash, right? I mean, Among Us is huge, and of course Sakurai has been tweeting about it, so it could be possible, but for now, I would say 
keep that away from Smash for a little bit now. I think that we don't need any reveals right now, even though it is fun to think about that. I think there's a lot of other characters that deserve to be in Smash way before stuff like Among Us, right? There's characters like Crash Bandicoot, and well, I think also characters quite like Ninja Gaiden's Ryu Hayabusa that deserve to be in Smash. So, thank you so much for sending in all your comments, guys. If you comment down below, I might feature it in the next video, and of course, please head to patreon.com slash block content if you want to donate anything. It really helps out the channel and also well consider hitting that subscribe button press like and of course ring the bell so you won't miss any video and well i'll just see you guys around the corner because every day we upload new videos here on blocked content so i'll just <laughs> you know see ya